The age of consent in Japan is currently 13. They have the consent of the parents. The age can go back as low as 16. Underage girls in bikinis on posters in trains. Hey guys, this is Cabby Cat. Today from Tokyo, follow me along to a new adventure. Hey guys and girls and Ashton Venice, it's Cat the Cat, your flashy fashion reporter and this time we are going to talk about the age of consent here in Japan. That is the age from which you're allowed to do the Humpty Dumpty. On November 20th, 2020 was when a group of students went to the Ministry of Justice for a petition to raise the age of consent. The name of that student group was Your Voice Matters or Is Your Voice Matters and they collected over 40,000 signatures on the internet for their petition. Those votes have now been collected and handed over to the Justice Minister Yoko Kamigawa. And this topic actually raised quite a ruckus. It became place number four on the Google search terms about Japan next to Corona. And the reason for that being is the age of consent in Japan is currently 13. And the petition is asking to raise that to the age of 16. So from 13 to 16 now. If it's going to get through, we don't know yet. It's currently in the office. Now, most countries generally prohibit sex with underage people from the age of 16 up to 20, depending on which country you're going to. Okay, comparing the age of consent to people all around the world, the lowest is generally 11. One of the higher ones is 20 years old. The average seems to be 16 to 18, somewhere in between there. And then it depends on if they're actually married, engaged to be married, or if they're actually heterosexual or homosexual. These kind of things factor in when the age of consent is applied or considered in certain countries. That changes all around the world though. In the United States, it's between 16 and 18, depending on which city you're from. In Turkey, you have to be 18. Nigeria currently has the lowest one at 11. Spain had the same age of consent at 13, but they raised it in 2003, so a couple of well, years ago already, to the age of 16. But where I'm from, Germany, it's 14, and we share that age with Hungary, Austria, and Italy. In some countries, unfortunately, there isn't even an age of consent at all and it just matters whether they are married or not. So some people might be screaming right now, 13, oh my god, there is however the Inko Jore, it's called the obscenity status or the corruption of minors law that also can override the age of 13. So for example, in big areas like Tokyo, it's actually not 13. So those two statuses raise the age of consent from 16 to 18. So for example, in Tokyo, it's actually 18. If they can prove that they are in a serious relationship and they have the consent of the parents, the age can go back as low as 16 or is 18 for boys. So 16 for girls, 18 for boys, and otherwise it's actually starting from 20. Japan, however, has no close in age exemption. Now this is a thing that's in some countries when young minors are trying things out with each other, meaning there's a big difference between a 13 year old sleeping with a 13 year old or a 13 year old sleeping with a 30 year old. So in theory, that could mean that if two 12 year olds did things with each other in Japan, they could in theory get prosecuted for that. When students from Your Voice Matters went round and tried to get signatures for the petition, one thing that many Japanese people said was that they were surprised that the age of consent was actually that low. Many didn't even know. Don't forget that this topic is heavily, heavily focused on the culture of a country. So in Japan, for example, it's very much frowned upon to have that kind of experience too early in life anyways. So for example, why in some countries you're kind of getting pushed to, you know, lose your virginity fast because you're the uncoolest person in Japan. A lot of people are actually trying to stay and keep that virginity until they meet the right person or maybe even the partner they want to marry, apparently. In a country where underage kids, most of the time actually underage girls, are heavily commercialized, 
idealized and even fetishized, this kind of law is actually very important. For example, the law around pornographic imagery that portrays minors has only been changed in recent years in Japan. And in no other country have I ever seen underage girls in bikinis on posters in trains. So this law is generally there to protect young girls and even boys from predators. The idol culture in Japan and also the popular media such as anime, manga is sometimes really pushing the border of what is okay. So how is that actually in your country? What's the age of consent and how does that look? Or what surprised you about what we were talking about this time? Let us know in the comments down below. Bit more of a serious topic, but yeah, the most important is that once you are of the right age to do the no pants dance, that you take care of each other and you love each other and everything's gonna be fine. But yeah, this is an interesting development. And like I said, it's been very high on the Google search ranking. A like means that you're happy that we created content, this video for you. A subscribe means you would like to see more of us. And ticking the notification bell means you will not miss a future video from Japan. I hope to have won you for a couple of more videos here on Ask Japanese. Greetings from Tokyo. I'll catch you soon for more. See you guys. This was Kathy Cat from Tokyo. So the director brought me Moira burning cola gummy. Okay. Hey guys, it's Kathy Cat, and right now I'm in front of a Japanese convenience store called Family Mart. Japanese convenience stores contain many interesting items and they actually change every month. So this is quite exciting. I like browsing and today the director of Ask Japanese, who's right behind the camera there, is going to give me a challenge. He's going to go grab an item and I have to review it from Family Mart. So let's find out what he goes, he's going to bring us. Hopefully not something too nasty because I need to try that. So let's go. See you, director. So the director brought me Moira burning cola gummy and it looked like it's gonna be super spicy I was like what a spicy cola gummy I don't really want to eat that no actually it is a collaboration between men's TBC and UHA so it's supposed to be kind of good for working out because I think men's TBC is for like guys to like look good and work out <laughs> and I read the English on here it's beautiful so just check that out aesthetic TBC and UHA Mikaudo, that's the two companies, has developed, even though they're two, they has developed a new gummy candy based on the concept. Now the concept name is Isn't it awesome to get good looking by eating some gummy? That's the name of the concept. It said that here. I'm not finished yet, there's more. Through repeating trial and error, the greatest feature is that it contains amino and acid and L-carnitine which has been introduced in the aesthetic treatments? What does that even mean? Take it with you whenever you go exercise and work and get your ideal body. Now the, my ideal body is waiting for me with this color gummy. I think the idea is that it helps you burn more calories. That's why it's probably burning. I hope it's not gonna burn on my tongue. I would not be happy about that. Here okay, we look up here. Bing! Oh, there are not that many in there. At least it doesn't smell it doesn't smell spicy. So, just a couple of them in there. Just actually not smell a cola. Let's eat it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks fizzy. Kind of sour. It's fizzy, sour, and very hard. I, it doesn't really smell, taste much of cola. Maybe of like lemony cola that has more lemon than cola. That's the kind of flavor you get. Apparently it's supposed to help you burn more than you actually have calories. Maybe because you're chewing a lot as well. So that was the Moiru burning cola gummy. If you see that, be sure to try it out if you're curious. And don't forget, isn't it awesome to get good looking by eating some gummy? I guess it is, but I'm not sure if it is that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave this a like. And if there's any items you'd like us to review from the convenience stores in Tokyo, let us know. Thank you very much. Thumbs up. And I'll catch you soon on Ask Japanese. And don't forget to subscribe.